So I know as parents, sometimes having our kids online all the time can be a bit concerning, but there are benefits, apparently, when it comes to giving our child an iPhone or an iPad just to learn how to do things in life. Right, Rach? Yes, definitely. I think... <laughs> <laughs> can you see where I already sit on this topic? Yes, I can see you're a bit, like... <laughs> Hesitant. Um, well, you've already told me that your kids don't have access to tech, right? No, they so, don't. They yeah. don't. And if they do, it's through their cousins and they are, like, hoarders. They don't, you know, obviously they, they don't know what they're doing, so... Yeah. Well, this is going to be a hard sell for you. Yeah. Um, I think But that, I need to get with the program. Let's yes. be real. Yeah. I think something like YouTube can make lessons accessible that hadn't been accessible before, you know? Um, content and information was if you could pay for it, you could get it, and if you couldn't, then you'd, you're not able to get it. So right. things like being able to learn how to draw, right. how to cook, how to play an instrument, all of these things cost money before. I was yes. looking it up, and cooking lessons in Sydney are about $400 for eight weeks of classes um, to learn how to make French pastries for kids. But you can go online and make some of that, learn how to make that yourself, even on our show. Yes. We have Gia and Olive who are who are cooking things, and you're able to learn how to it's make free. <laughs> learn how to make stuff that you were never able to learn how to make before. Um, I think for your kids, thinking of music lessons. Yes. Guess how much music lessons cost? I don't know. Eighty dollars a lesson. Fifty dollars a lesson. Yeah. Eighty dollars a lesson for an hour lesson for guitar, mm -hmm. and fifty dollars for half an hour lesson. But you can find so much content on YouTube for free. I mean, some of them then you have to pay to learn more, but you could learn some of the basics, the chords. These things were not available before for us to learn. Oh. Learning how to speak another language is available. I know my son likes a program called Preschool Prodigy. Okay. And it goes through, it uses a bell system with all the colors and it teaches do, re, mi. Um, it teaches like chords. It goes really in depth. And oh. I think some of these things before were not accessible. Accessible. Yeah. Whereas now it is accessible. It's funny that we are talking about that because I do have a friend who has a daughter who taught herself how to Swim. 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 How is that possible? She was watching YouTube. Wow. Did and she take the phone into the water? No, her, her mum was like, how does she know how to swim? Because they would go to the grandparents' house and mm. this girl would practice in the pool. And um, now I think I've given away who it is. But anyway, she would <laughs> practice who, who, how to swim and she wondered, where did you learn to swim? Wow. She said YouTube. Wow. And so every weekend she would just go to her grandparents' house and just practice what she learned on YouTube. So wow. that's pretty good. Very I good. think between that, learning how to code, how to use um, photography, I think there are ways that we can you know, see the technology as the benefit that it is and just, you know, monitor its usage for our kids to yeah. learn stuff. But I think don't hold them back. You know, if they can sit there and learn all those things on their own, I think go for it. Thanks so much, Rach, because I know that, I guess, YouTube has things that otherwise we would have to pay for. So it's good. A free way of getting our kids to learn how to swim, cook and... Code. Clean. <laughs> clean? <laughs>